Who is there? Who I am is not the question. I am Atrus, Jedi Master. The last historian of the Jedi. The last of the Jedi. Those are titles, words you cling to as the darkness falls around you. It is not the first time we have met, Atrus. I was here before. With the exile? Yes, I was here both times when the exile was brought before you. Who are you? I was the one who asked her to be exiled. I did as you asked, so long ago. You... you seem familiar to me. Atrus, I have always been here. You are that which has attacked the Jedi. You are Sith. Sith is a title, yes, but like you, the title is not who I am. It is not what I believe. For you, it is different. Know that there was once a Darth Traya, and that she cast aside that role, was exiled, and found a new purpose. But there must always be a Darth Traya, one that holds the knowledge of betrayal, who has been betrayed in their heart, and will betray in turn. You have bathed in the knowledge of the Sith, but there is not enough truth in such teachings. But it will be a step for you. You have gathered Sith holocrons, Sith teachings from across the galaxy. It is why you have chosen servants who cannot feel the Force. And most importantly, they cannot feel what you have become. I have sought to preserve the Jedi Order, and I have gathered all that I know of the Sith to this place, so I might find them and stop them. I had wondered if any of these holocrons had survived Dantooine. You have taken relics from one destroyed planet to the devastation of another. It was always intended for the Jedi to retreat to Telos should Dantooine be attacked taking all their lore with them. We could not allow the tragedy at Osis to happen again. Such an act marked Telos for destruction. It is why the Sith came here, though the fleet commanders did not know why. It is why Revan ordered its destruction to mark the beginning of the Jedi's civil war. It was a message that there would be no place for the Jedi to retreat, to hide. I would not be surprised if Revan left other gifts beneath the surface of the planet. Much can be buried beneath graveyards that will never be found. When the Sith attacked, I felt Telos die. Turbo lasers fell like lightning upon the landscape, as they did on Dantooine. And so many died, so many voices, screaming in pain. Yes, such acts leave their mark on the galaxy. Their cries travel far, though few can hear them. How did it happen? Search your heart. It was never battle that called to you, never battle that caused you to fall. Alakor V has touched many things, and it casts its echoes still. Why did she betray me? You betrayed yourself. Do not blame the exile. And unlike you and I, there is still a chance that one may be saved, the one that you cast out. Where is the exile? I had thought... Oh, she will come, but it will be too late to save either of us. It is such a quiet thing to fall, but far more terrible is to admit it. Your mistress awaits. She has much to share with you. I said you would come here to this place. If you think you all this collected knowledge, all these teachings of combat and the Force, they are mine to command. And if I must use it to end you, I will. Surrender. You need not die. Very well. Let us end this.
Kill me. End this. If you will not kill me, then what will you do? Where she walks is hidden from my eyes, but not from those of her kind. It is possible I may draw one last piece of knowledge from these holocrons. You always knew where they were striking from. You always knew. These Sith are spawned of you. Spawned by the Mandalorian Wars. All those deaths. All those Jedi. Their power is to feed on life. Until nothing is left except a hollow galaxy. Echoing with the screams of the Jedi lost to us. Yes. I had thought she was awaiting me at that place. But I see now that she lied. It was not meant for me. But for you. She has gone there. She is waiting for you to travel to Malachor 5, to finish what you started. This knowledge of the Sith, and the Jedi, is what I am. It is my attempt to hold on to the past, to try and protect the future. I sought to preserve the knowledge of the Jedi, and to do that I needed to know the Sith, in order to stop them. Once I was a historian, the chronicler of the Jedi, and when both wars passed me by, I was determined that I would not forsake battle again. In some part of me, I knew I had made choices, compromises, but always for the sake of the Republic, of the galaxy. To do what you had done, at times, did not seem so wrong. You're right. The Jedi were all that seemed left to me. And yet I had become so far removed from them that I betrayed them. Sith Lord. You always... These Sith, their power is to... Yes. I had thought she... She has gone there. And what will you do with me now? Abandon me here on this dead world? Or end my life as I wish to end yours? What do we have here? I didn't believe it when Lino reported the Ebon Hawk at Dock, but I guess it really has. Though given the trouble we've been having, maybe I shouldn't be surprised to see you. You look terrible. What happened to you? Some sort of plague growing around? You were looking for me, Gren? About time you showed up. The Sith are moving to keep us trapped in here. We need to push them back so we can get reinforcements deployed to the rest of the station. Sounds like you need someone to punch a hole for you. That's the idea, yes. All right, then. You'll have one Sith-sized hole coming up. Let's go, boys. It came out of nowhere. A fleet of warships dropped out of hyperspace, and before we could scramble fighters to intercept them, we were under attack. There were Sith fighters everywhere. And the few flights we sent out were barely launched when the bombardment began. We did our best, but we couldn't stop the landing craft that followed the initial wave. We couldn't hold back the Sith troops. We chose to retreat and began the evacuation instead. We were unprepared, and the docks were quickly overrun. We retreated back to the entertainment module to evacuate residents and workers. Then there's also the fuel situation. Because we don't have enough fuel, we won't be able to keep the station in orbit and operational and fight off the Sith at the same time. We'll try to make the best of what we have left, but it's going to be cutting it pretty close. The Sith numbers seem limitless, but we haven't lost all hope. We've heard reports that we might be receiving some assistance. 
If you need to get to the Ravager, then you're going to have to fight your way to the shuttle from here to the entertainment module, then make your way to the docking shuttle. Does this mean you won't be putting us into force cages again? I thought I saw you disembark with Beodur. Is he here? Now that you mention it, where is he? I guess it's no time to be swapping war stories anyways. Good luck. I have destroyed planets for you, General. But now, this once, if we could save something in this galaxy. I need to do this, or I will die inside, like I died at Malachor 5. Time comes for the assault on the Ravager. Watch yourself. I'll soften up the way for you, but I won't be here to hold your hand. Well, boys, the TSF's in over their heads and they need us to rescue their hides. Simple enough. We just need to get out there and face down a squad of Sith soldiers. Time to earn our pay. Goodness, you're here. We just can't seem to make any progress against the Sith line. After they established their position, they brought out their turrets. They've been devastating our numbers. Uh, we managed to take a few out, but they just keep unloading more of them to replace the destroyed ones. It's up to you to help us throw them back. We gotta get them cleared out of here, and then we're ready for one last charge. All right, everyone provide covering fire for the Jedi. Then advance on the Sith positions. We'll be right behind you. Good luck. Face this alone. I will go with you and be by your side. So cold at the brink of battle. I envy your detachment. Sir, Sith warship dead ahead of us. It's attacking Citadel Station. Let's close the trap. Concentrate all fire on the warship and deploy red and blue wings to engage enemy fighters. Sir, at this distance, our weapons will barely scratch it. We can't hope to match its firepower, but we need to draw it away from Telos. Sir, if it keeps firing on Citadel Station, the station won't be able to maintain its orbit. I am aware of the situation, Lieutenant. I do not intend to lose Telos twice. And I know that ship. It was a Malachor 5.
the hull of the Sith vessel and are securing the area. The vessel has suffered extensive structural damage, but its particle fields still maintain a minimal atmosphere within the ship. And our cargo? It's being brought aboard. Soon, teams will be dispatched to the target sites. Do the Republic forces suspect? No, Mandalore. The proton cores do not emit a signature the Republic ships can detect. If they do pick up the signal, they will assume it to be emanating from the ship's missile bays. Did you get an ID signature on this vessel? You were right about the vessel, Mandalore. It is of Malachor. It still bears the wounds of Mandalorian guns. Then let's finish this. And remind the galaxy of Malachor V. What was that about? Nothing you need to worry about, Sith. You are coming with me. Don't get all sentimental. I just don't trust you to get the job done. Been waiting for this for ten years. It's just time to do things the old-fashioned way. I know what it meant for you to accompany me here, Candorus of Clan Ordo. Your trust honors me. If you betray me or my men, I will kill you. I was going to say the same, Candorus. <laughs> This door leads to my cell. I had forgotten. Of course, let us continue. This is not my place any longer. Past the surface, there is the Force. Where once there was a world that was strong in the Force, now there is a barren wasteland. From the death of an entire world comes great power. My hands shall be hate, my eyes revenge. You shall be avenged, and the one who has done this shall die. There's nothing more for me here. This door leads to the bridge and my former master. If you wish to gather your strength, this is the last time.
is too powerful. He... I did not want to leave this life yet. It was weakness. But for you, I... I... My life. For yours. Her death was worthy of a Mandalorian. <laughs> asking for help. After the Sith are dealt with, you can turn your attention to us. Our next battle need not be fought against your Republic. Consider what I've said. Now is... I want to have a... I wanted to... 